Hello everybody, this is the Autistic Gamer and welcome back to FIFA 16 Career Mode. Now, uh, I guess bad news. One game you didn't get to see, and I'm very sorry for that. This was the game against, well, this was the game against Southampton. We won that 1-0 away from home, and uh, I'm sorry I couldn't show it to you. It wasn't a boring game either, but it was a really fun game to play. The problem was, I was recording with my face cam. For the first time ever and uh, it decided to fail on me that's the reason you you don't see it right now because the power is gone and it needs to fucking recharge not only that afterwards i tried to play this match coming up against sunderland three times and three times it failed and the one time it didn't fail <sighs> i had to fucking eat dinner so in general everything went wrong that could go wrong and sometimes you just have these days when just nothing works it's shit, but there's nothing you can do about it. So, I'm sorry for not letting you see that game, but there's nothing I can do about it. But we are going to move into training because we have some big talents here. Dominguez, 15-year-old uh, or 16-year-old, but a great guy. I definitely want to level him up. And here we have the biggest talent, Hearings. Only 15 years old, and th this guy is going to be a legend in the future. Look at those stats going up. Very well done. Bazur goes up with long passes. Oh, a lot of things has gone up here. Well done. In this match against Sunderland, we uh, do have some changes. One change, actually. Uh, Boyan is back. Comes back from a main jury, and I really do want to use him. And he's not in the team yet. I thought I did. Well, here he is. Back into the team. That means Adam can now leave the bench, and Afli will come in off the bench for him. The rest of the team is exactly the same. So let's start the game. Stadium of Light for Sunderland against Stoke City. I remember every time I started uh, recording this match, I told people, hey, you know what? This is going to be an easy match. And I, you know, I kept kind of losing the match or drawing the match. So for now, let's just say uh, it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. Their defense is solid, really solid. And on the attack, especially on the counter attack, they have pace for days and they will destroy you if you don't watch out. But on the other hand, look at our defensive record. Eight goals against compared to Chelsea's nine goals against. It's ridiculous that we are number one in terms of, of, of goals against. And uh, do you see what's happening on the middle of the pitch? There's a random, there's random trousers hanging there. Like a random set of sports pants. It's just, it's just freaking floating in the air there, glitching all way. <laughs> what was that? I hope it's gone in the second half because that's going to annoy me. There. Well done there by Shaw. Cross gets it out here to Boyan. But look at the pressure. Yetlin on me from the get go. No chance to even touch the ball. And I already need to play it away. Some space here for Shakiri. Can he comp Oh, he does use the f using skip. What a move from Shakiri there! I couldn't even finish my freaking sentence, but what a move! That's the end of the first half, and uh, it was pretty boring. But what to expect from a very defensive team against a very defensive team? <laughs> Best defensive record against well, just a defensively solid team. It, it's ridiculous. Not many chances. Though Shakiri with a brilliant move uh, in like the 30th minute. But no goal. And they cannot even get off their own half. As I say this though, they are off their own half. But Shawcross with a good interception. And apparently he does something wrong there. Didn't seem like anything worth giving a foul over. But freaking a big chance for them by the miss of the referee. That is very disappointing. But I guess it's still better than a loss because... Uh, I couldn't win of Sunderland in my field recordings and in this recording I still cannot a draw against Sunderland and it, uh, honestly it's just a bit it's just a bit sad isn't it and this doesn't make sense once again I definitely got more than two shots but it says I got two shots and in the last episode I'm quite sure I only got two shots and it said I had about six shots so FIFA once again fails in that department doesn't matter let's move on to the next match here we go, a really great training session. Hearing's going up one point and Dominguez going up one point. 
and a lot of stats going up as well. But you're not doing too well though. <laughs> Can you believe it people? This is absolutely ridiculous. I have as of now been, been offered a freaking chance to manage PSG. Are you kidding me? I've done absolutely nothing good with Stoke except for a good defensive record and Paris Saint-Germain wants to have me as their manager. But because this is a grammar where I at least want to stay with the team for more than a year, I'm just going to say no to this. I'm sorry. It, it w I would definitely would have said yes in my second season, but not now. And in the youth squad monthly report, we can see that Robert Desar is not worth keeping. So I'm going to get rid of him. Nicky Hearings is definitely going to be a big player in our club later on. Julian Flute, not too happy about, but I'm going to keep him. And Dominguez is, is looking the best up until now. Well done. We also got some monthly scouting updates and nobody good enough there. I at least want him to have a uh, potential maximum rating of 90. Like, like this guy right there. Sign him. Sign him. Sign him. England bringing something good this time. So I'm sorry Bazur, but you're going to have to be taken out. You are Hamel we have here. Polinja and Sergeant. Who was the best? I think it's going to be Sergeant because he is 46 rated and he has 60,000 as his um, as how much he's worth. This guy's 49 rated and also has 60,000 as how much he's worth. So Sergeant is definitely going to be the better player. Going to train him. There we go. Hopefully some people go up. Herring's going up another point, no one else going up a point, but Herring's has now grown to a 48, and that's really nice to see. An away game against West Ham, and to finish off this video, I at least need to get a win, because not only did I not show you the win against Southampton, I also draw against freaking Sunderland, and this was supposed to be my third match, it's going to be my second and my last match this video, so no three matches, but only two video uh, matches this video. It's a bit sad, but that's why I definitely want to win this game, to at least give you guys something. Because I don't want to screw up once again. The team... Wh what? Why is Bojan still out there? There we go, Bojan, come back come back in, mate. There we go. Oh, and Arnautovic is back. Well, I feel... Well, guess what, people? Luckily, you can still hear my voice. Um, FIFA crest once again. Luckily for me, I um, saved it right before here. So, I'll get back to you in the game. So now that that is done and over with and FIFA has stopped crashing, we are here in the bowling ground for West Ham against Stoke City. Like I said, I don't know what it is. Literally, DX Story just decides to crash on me every time, but it fits perfectly in my day today. Like I said, everything has gone wrong. <laughs> Freaking, this could be piled up there as well. What? Huh? What? How? How? <laughs> what the fuck is that a free kick for them? You saw what happened. Bazur had the ball in his feet and he got freaking run over. And it's a free kick for them. Well, and, and it, it ends up as a goal as well. Luckily it's offside. What the absolute fault was that? In the day I have been having, this would have been, this would have just fit perfectly in there as well. A free kick for them that should have been a free kick for us and then a goal out of nowhere. Luckily all of that didn't happen and we can move on with the game. Oh, well saved by Butland. Good shot. But very, you know, it's very strong. That, see, this is what I don't get. FIFA 16 gives you free kicks so easily. Like, that was a good challenge. Getting the ball back fair and square. And it's a free kick against me. Now it's not like I haven't... <laughs> I haven't gotten anything out of it either. I've gotten quite a few penalties, even in this career, or like that. I get a penalty way too often in this game. In this career, with alone, I think I've already gotten three or four penalties, and definitely three of them shouldn't even have been penalties. And what, what is going on this time? And like, like I said, today is really not my day. This time, his shirt's glitching. In the last video, there were trousers glitching. I mean, the last match, trousers were glitching. This match, freaking O'Brien's shirt is glitching. Oh, this is so stupid. Why does FIFA 16 hate me? 
Well, end of the first half, and what a failure ha <laughs> What a failure it has been. I cannot even speak anymore. It's honestly, what the fuck is going on today? But they do find it funny, and they do find it amusing, and I think it will definitely make for an amusing video. What a cross pass there by Shawcross. Also, a good through ball there from Shakiri. Can Bazur keep the ball? Yes, he can. He's way stronger than this defender there. And a good cross, but why was Boy in there? Way too small to win a header. Van Ginkel, well done. Van Ginkel, that's a penalty. It is a penalty. Once again, a freaking penalty. And I'm happy about it. Because it looked the whole freaking second half like I wasn't going to score. But Van Ginkel, is this, is this deserved? Yeah. Takes out. I don't know who this is, but takes out for Ginkel's right foot. Couldn't stand anymore. Has to go down. And that's a penalty. And Barry Hino can score his fifth goal for the club. His fourth goal was scored against Southampton, and he does it this time as well. Will take in penalty. And five goals from the new man, Barry Hino. Doing well. I still cannot get over the fact that that freaking guy's shirt is glitching. Look at it. Well, anyway, well taken penalty. 1 0. Good pass there towards Berahino. Can he get in front of his man? Yes, he can. Pass it towards Bojan, but cannot get the ball before his defender does. Zillo still has the ball, though. Good run by Zillo. Great run by Zillo, but Payet comes back to defend. Good cross there. Oh, Berahino, what a beautiful goal. What a spectacular goal there from Berahino. Saido Berahino with his sixth goal now. And uh, his heading training has paid off, finally. Diouf there with the throw in. Shakira with a really cheeky cross. And then Berahino with a backwards header. Adrian had no chance there. Look at that header. Like I said, the training has paid off, finally. 2-0 and we have definitely won this game now yes we have in this it's the end of the game and what a win a definitely deserved win because West Ham has shown nothing I think they've got one long shot and that's about it but we'll see in a second yeah FIFA is right this time I think my shots are definitely not well <laughs> they're not taken well apparently because uh, my shots were definitely about six or seven but their shots do seem to be about right three shots two on target a deserved win for us Honestly, I couldn't be happier. Two brilliant goals from Barry Hino. A good penalty, but that header, though. Honestly, a spectacular goal. One of the most beautiful goals I've scored this career mode. I leave you here, but Stoke, us, that is, being in 15th position. Only one point behind on second position and five points behind on first. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.